<laughs> Promise you'll talk dirty? <laughs> Good morning, Sacramento. I'm Larry Freeman. And I'm Georgia Bordenay. And I'm Mike Chadway. And this is The Ugly Truth, where we'll be taking a few minutes every day to talk about men, women, and relationships. Let's start with men. Men are simple. To illustrate my point, here we have a classic romantic setting. We have uh, candlelight, champagne, and even your own personal violinist. Now, over here, we have something quite different. This is not my list. Ha, ha, ha. Follow me. Is the segment over? Where the hell's he going? Yeah, follow him. Follow him. Go with him remote. Go with him remote one. <laughs> Babes, wrestling, and jello. Oh, jello. Um, Abby. Oh, people geez. calling and Sit down! Turn the monitor up. Well, let's just take a quick survey and see which option the men out there would pick. We have classical music and candlelit dinner, or semi-naked chicks wrestling in strawberry-flavored tunes. Okay, I'm trying. Oh, it's too far over. It's too far over. I'll get it. Hold on. Mr. O'Callaghan back in the village. He's not open on a Tuesday. No, I borrowed this from Mr. O'Callaghan, the butcher down the road. He's Mr. O'Callaghan, the car man's uncle, and you see, every Tuesday... I don't want to know. Oh, it's beautiful. If you can touch the horizon, you're near your journey's end. James Joyce? No. My Uncle Clive. But equally profound, wouldn't you say? Well, that spoiled it for me. This could get dangerous. No, he said he likes ladies in distress, not men who wear too much cologne. Oh, th th there he is. New York City tour, Tommy. You welcome, Okay, yeah. Uh, hidden cameras on. Ready to go. Molest me. Do Marty, you molest me. You got it. Oh, God. Yeah, come on, Help! Get... Help and right. be mugged! Help! Help! Help and be mugged! Stop it! Good luck. See you at the office. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get him. Oh, shit! Stop! I'm a virgin. A what? I'm a virgin. I always have been. Oh, and is that what all this was about? I'm sorry. You're just a virgin, that's all? Yeah. That's good. That's a good thing. I feel stupid. It's OK. I thought you were trying to kill me. <laughs> Oh, 
That's why I never tried to have sex with you. I was scared, okay? I just... Because I didn't know what I was doing. I just didn't think it would be good. Of course it'll be good. We love each other. Really? I love you. Yeah. Get the fuck out of the road, Virgin! Mm -hmm. What is your name, dear? Trudy. Trudy. What a beautiful name. Please, tell him that you love his body. For real? Yes. I love your body. Really? Of course, so powerful, so strong. Powerful frame with layer upon layer of dormant, relaxed muscle, waiting like a panther to pounce on its quivering prey. Please, take off his pants. Well, I'm not ready to pounce today. Yes, right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Voila! Wonderful! Stare at it! Stare at all of it! Is his, is his junk out? Yep. Is his junk literally out of his pants? Yep. Stuart, you forgot the pointy thing! Look, this is not complex. He gave me the Palm Pilot, but he forgot the pointy thing. I've been warned about you. Oh, really? And what, pray tell, did the Great Disappointment say? That you were dangerous, though you hardly look it. Really? A lady in trousers isn't dangerous, merely plain. I take it you're a career woman. Yeah, market research. Oh, fine application for women research. Perfect for the feminine mind. Huh. You're a trip, Lena. George, we need to finish this conversation, please. Lucy. Oh, June. Uh, hi. Lucy, hi. Wow, wow, great slip. Uh, <laughs> that's a great dress. Oh, uh, you know, same one as before. All right, break's over. I'm gonna capture your bish. Hi. Hi. We were just playing a little chess. And doing some laundry. Oh, oh, well that's 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 okay, because I, I was just about to go off and have some sex myself. I mean not, you know, not not by myself, but with somebody, some somebody else. Oh, you don't know him. He's uh, he's in my apartment. Yeah, in 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 my bed. His name's Barry. Yeah, Barry in my bed. <laughs> okay, uh, bye. That was embarrassing. Bullshit. I'm so glad we're not married. money anyway that's the best part by selling the boat by selling my boat which belongs to me which used to belong to us but you missed the divorce so now it belongs to me I'm gonna fix it up I'm gonna sell and I'm going to what this is hard to say what is You act like this is totally my fault. Can I, can I borrow this thing? Well, come on, Tess, you're not gonna hit me. Oh. Tell me you're not seeing that guy, are you, Millie? Yes, but I don't... Actually, the yes is all I need to know. No, 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 but the butt part's really important, too. But what? Not him. Why? Because he looks like some guy your mother would love. 
Connie, wait, though. This is really difficult for me, and I've never been here before. I don't know how to navigate this. Oh, poor thing. Don't talk to me that way. Oh, I'm sorry. What was I thinking? You're involved with this guy to the point where you're meeting his family, and I should be careful how I'm talking to you? Are you sleeping with him? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it that way. Well, what way would you say it? Are you gonna stop seeing him? <laughs> that pause says it all. No, it doesn't, that's not true, that's oh. not true. Who are you? I can't even look. Everything you can to ruin it. I don't even want this guy's money now. Well, I don't want it either. Well, I'm not taking it. Well, neither am I. Well, neither am I. All right, I'll take it. What? You said you didn't want it. You should tell your daughter the truth. What for? He's only going to end up hurting her anyway. She's better off with me, OK? I'll protect her. From what? From love? From pain. Love is pain. Life is pain. You can't protect anybody from it. It's always going to get you. But sometimes, life could also be good. But you gotta be open, you gotta take chances, you gotta let go. What self-help guru moron taught you that? Nobody had to teach me nothing, it's common sense. And Deepak Chopra is not a moron. I've seen a lot of crap in my life, but the way you're cheating her out of any chance for a decent future, it really sucks. Of all the lousy things you've done, you should be most ashamed of that. And what you did to me too, I don't wanna completely leave that out. Here's your money. I've been what the money. Good luck with Psycho Mom here. Uh, what was that? I took care of him. How? I don't want to talk about it. Let's just get out of this goddamn. Taken. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry. Get my chore. Leave. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're hurting me. And here we are, Central Park. Yes, isn't it beautiful? Half an hour, people. That's Thirty minutes for those on the metric system. generous. Uh -huh. I tell you, these people are all alike. Oh, the saumon, là. Tu me mets les trois caisses de navet aussi. Sont frais, vivants, très bien. La dorade royale, choisis les plus belles, hein. Merci, tu me mets tout ça à l'hôtel, OK? <laughs> yes, you know, I tell you, they're all alike. Oh, people are not as bad as you think. Oh, you're wrong, Georgia, you're wrong. They are. The like Kragen at the hotel. <laughs> who looks for a life everlasting in a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, trois caisses de citron aussi. You know, you and I, we know the secret of life. Well, what is that? The secret of life is butter. <laughs> butter? <laughs> Tell them why. <laughs> Butter. Butter, yes. Tu me mets deux, three cases of acronyms. Yeah. But my friend Terry once went out with a guy who never called. She totally wrote him off. Over a year goes by. Right. And she ran into him, and it ended up that they... Yo, your friend Terry's an idiot, and she's also the exception, by the way. The rare exception. Okay, okay. But what if I'm the exception? No, you're not. You're not at all. In fact, you're the rule. And the rule is this. If the guy doesn't call you, he doesn't want to call you. Really? Yeah. Always. Yeah, always. Look, I know what blowing off a woman looks like, OK? I do it early. I do it often. So trust me when I say, if a guy is treating you like he doesn't give a shit, he genuinely doesn't give a shit. No exceptions. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. Now you get written up. What? That, no, that means it's in the newspaper. 
Oh, thank goodness for you. I've got a soft heart. H heart? You don't have a heart. You got a hole with an ice pump in it. You know, I don't, I don't understand you. Why do you have to be so goddamned uncompromising? It's called principle, Oscar. Maybe the world is in short supply, but I am not. You see, people pay their tax dollars for my principle, so they can go into a restaurant and not eat chicken fried bread or bite into a bacon, lettuce, and tomain sandwich. If I slack up on you, then I have to cut everyone a break, and pretty soon, the almonds on your salad have legs. If that makes me uncompromising, well, I wear it as a badge of honor because I'm in damn good company. Martin Luther King was uncompromising, Nelson Mandela was uncompromising, and I'm sure your mother was uncompromising, although the evidence of that is not a parent today. So, why don't you think of me as your mom right now? And mama says, clean it up! See you in 48 hours. Oh. I'm sorry, Paula. You'll have to find someone else. Kate, what have you done? I didn't do anything. Nick, please, we need you. Well, I'll have to hear that from her. It's my restaurant. It may be your restaurant, Paula, but it's her kitchen. Without her, all this would just be a pile of hot metal and dirty dishes, so she decides. Kate. Seems you've left me no choice. You want me to stay? Didn't I just say that? I didn't hear those words. I want you to stay. Love to. Thought you'd never ask. You're on fire. Don't do that. Don't open the umbrella. Not inside. Very unlucky. Can I give you a ride? I only live 29 blocks from here. Uh, please take my umbrella. I already have one. Why didn't you tell me you were a secret agent? I prefer intelligence operative, and I couldn't tell you until I thought I knew you. Well, can I call you when I land? You can call me, but I'll be in Peru. Ooh, I said that a little loud. Come on, that's a 187. Cold blue, we got the wolf sleeping at night. He's slipping his right arm in the drawer, and out comes the cookie jar, all clear. Bling, bling, walla, walla, bing, bang. Got it? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe when you get back from Peru. I don't think that's an option, Lisa. Linda. I know, I changed your name for your protection. Oh. We have to go our separate ways now. Well, goodbye. Got it? Moving out. What the hell is the problem? Hey, just keep going. I'll give you $20. You got it. How's your ball? It's killing me. Hit it. You know
I think it must have sucked up a diaper or something. It's gross. Try it again. <laughs> you want me to call AAA? Come on around and let me hop on with you. I don't know. What if you break mine too? Then we'll both be sitting ducks. I didn't break it. It just died. Yeah, yeah. All right, oh, hop geez. on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, scoot back. Hitch, I'm already here. Well, yeah, but you don't know where we're going. Well, why don't you tell me, and then we'll both know. Sarah? Uh, man, male egos. I don't know how you guys make it through the day with them. What? No, it is not my ego. I just, I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Sarah! Hey, I'm Tad. It's quite pleased and pleasant to me. I've, uh, I've heard a lot about you both. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Um, so what are you doing here? I came to see you. No way. Yeah. You're just, No. that's just, yeah. you can't. Here? It's true. You mean to say your normal business itinerary does not include Fraser's Bottom, West Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kathy. So, am I too late to take you to lunch? No, uh-uh. Great, shall we? Yeah, um, if that's okay, Pete. Well, actually- If that's okay, okay, okay Pete. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. At which point, Tad, if you're going back to the airport, I'll ride with you, and by the Route 73 Cloverleaf, I will have given myself to you in ways you have only read about in the drugstore. It's great to meet you. Building the parachute? Excuse me? They're a little big, aren't they? Oh, I get it. You ripped the spinnaker on your sailboat, right? Um, I'm sorry, I just... It, it seemed so funny seeing someone like you holding up a pair of old lady trout. Someone like me? Uh, yeah, you know, someone so fit. You are a jackass. Hold on. What did you say? I like you, and I don't want you to go. You don't like me. Well, tell me who I like. Screw you. Uh, screw you. Screw you. No, screw you. God, you're impossible. You, you are pig-headed. You are stubborn. You, what? You don't even warn a guy when he's about to step in dog shit. What is that? Ever since I met you, I've been a total wreck. Even more of a wreck than usual. And screw you. I like you. Yeah, well, you're a liar, and, and you have horrible morning breath. And, and you could never have made it as a picture frame model. It is so cutthroat and so competitive. And, and ever since I met you, I've been feeling completely crazy. And I like you, too. Okay. 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 Okay, so we like each other. Now what? Let's go. Really? Where? That's me. Where are you going? Wait, 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 wait. So you don't have a cell phone, a Blackberry, a pager, nothing? No. Well, what if some sudden crisis occurs, like your father has a heart attack or something? My father died two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I just found out this morning, so it's been a rough 24 hours. You know, maybe I should get a cell phone. <laughs> That's a good idea. You're funny, Ben. Right. Rightman. Yeah. Yeah. You forgot my last name. No, I just blanked. Well, I know why you forgot. That's no, all right. I... Yeah, be I bet, because I bet when you talk to your friends, you call me Ben the school teacher. Am I right? Well... I, <laughs> that's okay. What do you call me to your friends? I call you... Lindsay... The Vomit Girl. The Puker. Puker. I, I was like, you going to a Puker tonight? I'm like, yeah, why? Do you want to play games, video games or something? I'm like, no, I'm out with Pukers. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> hey, anything I said about you would be an understatement, really. Play 
can go and write what I want to write. No, I'm not buying that. You can write anywhere. I think you're running away. Why don't you save your mind games for your next bet, okay? I am not running away. Bullshit. Excuse me? You heard me. Bullshit. Hey, lady, what do you want to do? Take the lady's luggage back to her place. She has alternate transportation. You call my bluff? You bet I am. It's written in a shorthand of my own devising. Necessity for a girl with Christian parents. What does this say? Wouldn't you like to know? That last passage would be of particular interest to you. <laughs> I doubt that. I have very little interest in reading about Trent Preston's beautiful shoulders. I haven't made love with Trent, if that's what you want to know. I've only made love once, and it was less than erotic. But I hear it gets better with practice. You're a virgin, I can tell. Kiss me, you weenie. if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> I think you're gonna be a great king someday. Your father would have been proud. Thanks. I think he would have really liked you. I said a lot of really crappy things the other night, and I'm sorry about that. I haven't been a very good friend to you, and I'm sorry, okay? I just... The truth is, I, I'm afraid to be your friend. Because I'm always going to want more. But then I got to thinking that, that I, I'd rather have you in my life as a friend than not at all. You know what? That's a lie, too. back here because I want to take you on a date and I don't care if it's in the day or at night or whenever as long as it's a real date and I want to tell you how beautiful I think you are inside and out and I want to have babies with you and I want to marry you and I love you Jamie I always have That night was as much a surprise to me as it was to you. But being with you was like going to a place that I had never been before. And after you fell asleep, I just laid there, staring up at those cheap fluorescent stars you have stuck on your ceiling. And after a while, they just started forming a pattern, this weird glow-in-the-dark pattern that linked together our entire relationship. And for the first time, everything seemed clear to me, like one logical progression. It felt like you and I were the greatest plan ever made, and I had nothing to do with it. Being with you made me feel that maybe I didn't have to keep planning anymore because it felt like I was actually living. And that for once in my life, I wouldn't have to work so hard at being happy. That it could just happen. Nothing will ever hurt me as much as your reaction to that same experience. 
Wait, what? What? You want to go hang out at the library and pretend like nothing happened? I can't do that. I'm sorry. Steve, and why should I marry you anyway? I mean, why do you want to marry me? Besides some bourgeois desire to fulfill an ideal that society embeds in us from an early age to promote a consumer capitalist agenda. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! You should have got on your knees. Just shut up. Here. I want to marry you because you're the first person that I want to look at when I wake up in the morning and the only one I want to kiss goodnight. Because the first time that I saw these hands, I couldn't imagine not being able to hold them. But mainly, when you love someone as much as I love you, getting married is the only thing left to do. So, will you? is the most important dance moment in a person's life. A room full of friends and family, watching, smiling, betting on how long the marriage will last. All you'll have is each other and whatever skills you acquire today. And pair off. Good, that's the nice position. Now, your left foot, her right foot. Good, and we're trying to glide across the floor. Come a little bit close together. Moving. We're trying to turn. Trying to turn. What's the matter, Nick? Two left feet? Go! Other dancers may be and Melissa. Oh, no. I had two times. Not She's Melissa. My no, she hates me. Oh, you broke her heart. She broke my nose. That was an accident. She hit me with her fist. I was completely honest with her. I said, look, nothing serious, and she agreed. So well, sometimes our hearts don't match our mouths. Well, that's good. You should put that in the vows. And yeah. she's wanted to be my maid of honor since we were five years old, so now she's really going to hate you. There they are now. OK, well, as your maid of honor, I promise to keep the peace. <laughs> It's really not the worst one. If I had to pick one, I got a good one. This is my favorite. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Theme wedding. What was the theme? Humiliation? God. No, people do not have gone with the wedding weddings. I have been to three. Let's do it. All right. Y'all say family day. All right, what else we got? Show me some more. <laughs> okay, okay. You have to show me Benny Hanna. Give it. <laughs> Very pretty. Do you feel pretty? Adorable. Every Brad loves her accessories. What is that? What? Where's your bridesmaid's dress? Oh, I gave it to Ruby's daughter. She works at Hooter. She was thrilled. I don't have a daughter. Oh. <laughs> take off that white dress right now, or I'll take it off for you. Don't you tell me what to do. You did not just poke me! Don't you touch me, you two-bit tramp! Oh! Oh my god! Viola, I'm so 
sorry. I didn't mean to. You, you don't go and slap somebody and then apologize. Get some backbone. Why don't you just face it? I am marrying Kevin today and there's nothing you can do about it. You face it. You'll never be good enough for him. I didn't stop you from marrying my son. I told you it would. Thank you. Thank you for talking some sense into me, man. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I'm married to this amazing girl. I got the next three weeks off. We're road tripping it down to Cabo. Cabo. That's it. You're in the club. I'm in the club. <laughs> hey, uh, when you get down to the hotel, ask for Uncle Tito. And, um, give him this as a thank you. Okay, remind me again, who's Uncle Tito? It's a friend of mine. You know, I always take care of him. He gives me a big discount when I get on there. Who knows you're coming? That's awesome, man. Thank you. Know. you. Yeah. Honey! All right. My mom finally arrived. Oh, great. Where is she? There's my tiger! <laughs> give me a hug! Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry I missed the ceremony. Look at her, so beautiful. It's the same dress I wore on my wedding day. Same designer? No, it's the very same dress. You, in my entire life, I have never met anyone so manipulative, so deceitful, and I'm in politics. I'm just trying to be honest. I will not allow the future president of the United States to be dumped at the altar by some psycho Daisy May. You go after him, you little now, bitch. Wait, just a minute now here, Missy. <laughs> there, there's no need for name calling now. Now, she spoke her piece, and that's all there is to it. Oh, go back to your double wide and fry something. <laughs> The South is risen again. There we are, sir. Have a wonderful breakfast. Oh, a lovely table, so close to the buffet. I'm glad you like it. Mahalo. Good morning, sir. Can I start you with anything? Uh, orange juice, coffee. What about like some pineapple juice with a little bit of rum on the side? Of course. I like your style. Cocktail guy. Thank you. You are welcome. Oh, we've already reserved the sea kayak for noon. Honey, so. I know that, but you know that I wanted to oh, see. Hey. <laughs> Hello there, friend. Hey. How are you guys? How was uh, your evening? Great. Awesome. I can't feel anything. All right. Uh, does that feel good? I still can't feel anything. Okay, because it hurts, mate. Would you do that for me? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. God put our mouths on our head for a reason. No! I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry. I showed those pies on how it's done. Cockroach! 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 Oh, honey! 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 I love it! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ready. Okay. The Tomcats are here to show me. Oh. Ready. Okay. The Tomcats are here to show who's top. You think you can beat us, but we can't be stopped. Uh, 
Jane. Roommate. <sighs> Isabel. Isabel. Nice Isabel meet. Jane. You can clean up. It's your turn. Okay. Okay. Night. We're a little noisy. Um... Uh, before you go, don't forget your copy of The Roving Rover. What the fuck's this shit? Um, that is not shit. That would be our bi-monthly newsletter. Awesome. And I would update you on what everyone's doing in their lives. Finally. I love your enthusiasm. Here you go. Write your email address down on that, and I'll be sure to add you to our 800-member strong mailing list. We have 800 people in our graduating class? Yes, and uh, only 250 RSVP'd. Does that suck, Mary? Mary. You married, Bets? I am. Two kids. Wow, that's beautiful. Uh, no, I'm married. Okay, cool. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be in there getting shit face. So, just so you know, I eat the pussy. He does. Ah, tempting. Again, no. Shall we? Sir. Bye, bits. Think about it. Damn! Ha! Um, I have this tattoo of a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Inside of my thigh. Yes, you do. <clears throat> and um, I want to get something on the other side, but um, I don't know what to get. Any ideas? I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about um, like a cute little pussy cat or something. Do you like pussy cats, Matt? Yeah. Because if you're not doing anything later, you should come over and help me pick one up. I I can't. I mean, we can't because. Pussy cats are mean uh, butterflies. They don't like them. They dislike them very much, and they hit them with their paws, and it hurts the little butterfly. Right. Yeah. Uh. Well. Okay. If you change your mind. Did she just Xerox her ass? What? Oh, get off me. You can give me a call. Okay. Course? Unfortunately, no. Sense of humor intact? Yeah. Give him an aspirin and it's all five milligrams and hang a nitro trim. Mr. Sanborn, yeah. your EKG shows you have a blocked artery which is not allowing enough oxygen to get to the heart muscle. I'm having a heart attack. We're gonna stop it, but I need to know what medications you take. I take Lipitor. To this. Uh, huh? Anything else? I want you for blood pressure. What about Viagra? Uh, Mr. Sanborn, did you take any Viagra today? Mr. Sanborn? No. No Viagra. Okay, good. Just need to be sure because I put nitroglycerin into your drip. And if you had taken Viagra, the combination could be fatal. <laughs> I know you're sensitive about color, so we'll just take it slow. No one has to know if you don't want them to. It'll just be our little secret. I have another scenario for you. Good. I'm in love with you. I apologize for the blunt delivery. But as problematical as this fact may be, I am in love 
with you. And I'm not feeling this because you're leaving and not because it feels good to feel this way, which by the way, it does or did before you went off like that. I can't figure out the mathematics of this. I just know I love you. Can't believe how many times I'm saying it. And I never thought I'd feel this way again. So that's pretty phenomenal. And I realize I come with a package deal, three for the price of one. And my package, perhaps in the light of day, isn't all that wonderful, but I finally know what I want. And that in itself is a miracle. And what I want is you. Now I believe I started calling all your exes. They're married. Not just some, all. A to Z on your palm pilot, man. Susan, the Gretzky, the genie, Zyder, every single one you closed the deal with. And did you see this month's high school newsletter? Sarah McDowell. What, the girl who lost my virginity to? Did you see who she wound up marrying? Tony Lamberto, that douchebag she dumped you for. You know what this means, don't you? You shake the sheets with Cam, she's gonna marry the next guy she dates. I hate you. I really hate you. I gotta go. I gotta go. Dental emergency. Freak accident. Children, they thought it was gumballs. Ball bearings. And it just fucked up their shit. Uh, you look great. I had a good time. I gotta go. I've done this a lot before, of course, but never with such a powerful instrument. <gasps> That's it. It's perfectly clear. Oh, Sip, I've never seen anything so beautiful in all my life. Neither have I. You're not even looking through the telescope. I know. So I guess we are officially forgetting about that nonsense that happened last month. Yes, we officially are. I want to apologize for it. I almost called you just to apologize. I mean, I was so stressed out at the time, taking on all those new patients. I hadn't been sleeping well. My judgment was not what it normally is. I want you to know that'll never happen again. From now on, our relationship will be strictly a medical and a professional one. Jenna, no. Not with the door open. Dear baby, P.S. I'd want to be able to teach a baby such as yourself the difference between good and bad, right and wrong. But it seems I'm not fit to teach nobody nothing. Comedy, you still in there? You got a phone call. I'll be right out, Norma. Uh, Mrs. Henderson needs to be weighed. Would you take care of that? And you can get dressed. I'll see you in my office in a few minutes. You're being really immature. You have no reason to be mad at me. I mean, you know, you broke my heart. I, I, I should be royally ticked off at you. You know, I should be really cheesed off. I shouldn't want to talk to you anymore. Well, because well, I got bored and had sex with you and I didn't want to, like, marry you? Like I'd marry you. You'd be the meanest wife ever, okay? And, and I know that you weren't bored that day because there was a lot of stuff on TV and, and then the Blair Witch Project was coming on Stars. And you were like, I haven't seen this since it came out, and so we should watch it, and then, but oh no, we should just make out instead, la la la. Uh, you just, you just take Katrina the douche packer to prom. I'm, I'm sure you two will have like a real bitch in time. Well, I still have your underwear. I still have your virginity. God, would you shut up? What, are you, are you ashamed that we did it? No. Because at least you don't have to have the evidence under your sweater. I'm a planet. Fine, it looks. Gertie, I asked it's you like please to use your own brush, okay? Can you just not use my brush? Don't start, Ollie. It's just that I have to have time when I comb my hair. I spent 15 minutes taking these long, bushy hairs out of my brush. And I, 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 you asked me to. I'm sorry. 
Oh, really, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't understand what it's like to be this fat. I know, I'm I've you. always been thin, and now I'm a disgusting pig. And it's my first time going to the Video Music Awards, and all the other girls are gonna be skinny, and I'm gonna look like a whale. Oh, baby, baby, they're 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 just skinny because they're all coked out whores. <laughs> I want to be a coked out whore. Okay, you can be a coked out whore too. You can be a <laughs> coked out coked out whore. Mm, okay. I'm sorry. I should Ali. be more sensitive. I'm sorry. Yes. I should be more sensitive, honey. I know. Yes. I know. Baby, we have to go. Though. Okay. 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 I love you. We have to go now. Okay. Okay. I love you. Too. All right. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Just give me two minutes. Here we are again. Who is that? Is that Ben's rabbi? Is he the one who cuts the penis? I think it's Mod is Yahoo. You want out of the bed? I want out of the bed. Oh, you know what you have to say. Just say it, man. I think now's the time. Jason, you're the master. You heard it, right? Yeah. All right, you're out of the bed. Deal. Oh you're done. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Your face smells like an old man's balls. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Understanding. You want Paula to move in here? Yes! It's the perfect solution. Mom, Dad, you like her. Paula, you like them. We're all gonna be right here together, under one roof, a big happy family. I'm telling you, I'm getting really excited about this. Whoa, 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 wait just a second. Take a deep breath here and Trip, take... Trip, I just think that we should probably talk about this, just because it's a, it's a big idea. And... Honey, I've given this a lot of thought. All right, it'll work. And the best part about it is, Mom, Dad, you won't have to keep paying Paula to be my girlfriend. Huh? Or did I say something wrong? Come on. You're all getting what you wanted. Paula, you don't have to pretend to like me anymore. And Mom, Dad, you wanted me out of the house. I'm out. Tell me you built this boat yourself? Yes, sir. You build boats? No. Uh, truth be told, I uh, don't know the first thing about them. But I do appreciate a work of art. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I'm about to sell this work of art to a guy who's going to cut it in half and stick it on his wall. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to take her out for a last paddle before I meet the butcher at noon. Why would you want to do a thing like that? That's a long story. Something about the violation of expectations and a crushing loss of faith and love and life and art. So it's a girl? Yes. I've had a little girl trouble myself lately. But better to have loved and lost. Am I right? She was a unique constellation of attributes. She was my Halley's Comet. But the universe is designed to break your heart, yes? A philosopher as well as an artist. Yes, it's we who suffer most. Yes, with the possible exception being the victims of violent crime. <laughs> well, it's been a... Pleasure to meet no, you. No, no, no. Pleasure's all mine. Jake. Go. Uh, you know, I have a daughter who... No, 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 never mind. Oh, Lanzetta, the little boy you played with the summer we spent in Italy. Oh, the kid who ate mud? Nah, that's the one. <laughs> I bumped into him on New Arrivals Night at the Sicilian Association. Well, this is the most wonderful day of my life. A man of my very own. Mm. <sighs> you must bring me to him at once. No need. He's here? Yeah. He's here? He's here? Massimo. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh, my God. Maria, you remember Massimo? Oh, that mud did him good. The last time I see you, you were scrawny and ugly, and uh, your head was too big for your body. How nice. Thank you. Oh, prego. You're welcome. <laughs> I look forward to our life together. 
I want uh, three sons and a garden of tomatoes. Okay, then. Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Ma 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 Maria, wait! Maria! Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm the guy who... You're my best friend. Still in? You guys gonna make out now? Huh? Go ahead, stick your tongue in his mouth. That'll really clear the air. But, uh... <laughs> Look, I know I kind of lost it there for a while, but now I'm seeing things clearly. You need to get her back. But I don't deserve her. No, you did Tank, if you were willing to give her up, trust me, you deserve her. That's fucked up. You're right. <laughs> She's my angel. It's time she knew. Yes. So what's stopping you? I propositioned her mother for a blowjob. <laughs> Man, that is great. That is so great. Same as every other day. Honey, make me a little bagel with cream cheese. You know I can't think on an empty stomach. For your information, I'm not even hungry. Who said you were? Mr. Marshall. Morning, Philip. Let me get your cab, sir. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. You're welcome, my little sweet ass. What did you say? Me? Nothing. Sure. Yes, sir. You know what? I think I'll walk today. I could use a little fresh air. You have a great day, sir. Put your fine ass looking like Shaft. Oh, I could just ride that puppy. Yes! Oh, hey, watch where you're going. You okay, sir? Fine, I'm fine. Louisville, Kentucky, huh? Home business or family? My dad. Oh, where does he live in Louisville? Actually, he's near Louisville. Louisville. L Louisville. Bull. Louis. Vol. He's in Elizabethtown. Oh, good. Hope someone's driving you because the roads around there are hopelessly and gloriously confusing. Lou of Vol. I'll keep that in mind. I'll try a quick map. I mean, I'm so happy we're sitting here having this conversation at three in the morning or whatever time it is. You know, it's such an. Such a great time, everyone's sleeping but us. It's really nice to have a conversation with you and that you're really listening. I feel like I can really talk to you. So, you want to get to 264 and then you want to not miss 60B. I'm going to be obnoxious about really? that. Really? I knew you should have told him earlier. You wouldn't have believed me. Does he believe you now? I had to get him into the hospital. Dave, Dave, let me take you upstairs to the psych ward. Okay, there are people up there who can help you. There's no time. It's 11.30 right now. She's going to be dead in half an hour. Tell him I know this is a stretch for him. Elizabeth is standing right behind you right now. She says she knows what a stretch this is for oh, you. Oh, does she? Okay. Yes. Well, if your friend's really behind me, ask what I'm doing with my hand. Rock, paper, or scissors? Rock. Rock. Scissors. Scissors. Paper. Paper. Rock again. Rock again. He's flipping me off. Are you flipping her off? You're flipping her off. Okay. Okay, sometimes people with emotional and mental disturbances can have psychic moments, all right? But even if she was real, do you know what you're risking for this woman? Yes. Why? Because I love her. I love her. I do. I love you. What's going on? You okay? I love her. Oh. Okay. Well, I love her, too. But let's get two more out, okay? Come on, kid, get up. Hey, Knight, wake up, man. Get out of here. Up, up, Finish it, Kelvin. Hey, Augie, start the car. Start the, the car. Start the car. He says, start the car. He get the cool and start the start car, the man. Car. All right, let's start the car, folks. Dude, what are you doing? Look, bro, a no hitter in a Cape League won't even be in the Globe tomorrow. All right, girl. That'll last you forever. Besides, Knight's the best closer in the league. He's gonna finish this. Good morning, sunshine. 
Listen, Fatty here can't touch a slider, and my man on deck is a sucker for an inside curve. Enjoy. Everything all right, fellas? He loves her. Well, that's great. Thanks. You're welcome. I love her. We, we know. know. Hey. Jenna's waiting for you in the closet. On my scarf. You know what? You can be the pot and kettle all by yourself from now on. Fiosh. Come on, Matt. What did you call me? We're gonna be late. For what? Uh, You'll see. Thank you, Mrs. Blanchard. <laughs> 